So you got a drawing in your hand and you need to set out something from it. Maybe you've been using a laser level, using relative levels, but you, you haven't really needed to look at spot heights and drawings and setting out them. We'll cover that in this lesson and uh, we'll cover these topics or points. What does the laser actually do? What is the height of instrument? What is a benchmark or datum? How to establish height of instrument and how to set out from a drawing. And we'll review these things in the end as well. So what does the laser actually do? And it's good to think that this is also applicable for a dumpy or automatic levels as well or optical levels. A laser is basically just a quicker way and uh, more convenient usually and depending on the equipment it's less accurate than a really good optical level but the sam same principle applies to these instruments the most basic thing is that it gives a line that is in the same level all over the place technically you could say that it defines a horizontal plane that you can measure heights off from or levels off from so you get a level that's the same. This can be a bit confusing, but it's probably easiest to imagine a line on a wall, just a two-dimensional line. If you would have a line here, and maybe in a kitchen wall, and you know that this is at plus 10 meters, and you have to mark out plus 9 meters, that wouldn't be too hard to do. You'd say, well, I have to measure off one meter from this wall. And if I ask you to set out 10.5 meters, and you have a 10 meter line, you'd mark 500 mil up. So a line is easy to measure from, and it makes sense. And this is essentially what the laser also does. It gives you a line to measure off, both up or down from. The only difference is that you have this laser line all over the place and it's mostly invisible so you get a horizontal plane by now it should be apparent that you need to know at which height this line is at that is you want to know the height of instrument this is usually abbreviated as hi this is also the first thing you need to establish when setting up the laser this is the first thing you need to do and don't be afraid of this expression HI. Remember that that just means at which level the laser is spinning on. That is the line that we looked at before. The one you're going to measure off from. So now you've set up your laser in a good spot. You have visibility to your work area. You've thought ahead so you don't have to move this too often. Maybe you can leave the tripod there for lunch or even for the next day or for a couple of days it's not in the way of heavy equipment that can drive over it or something is not blocking the view of it how do you do now you want to establish your height of instrument so now you need a benchmark or a datum what's that that is basically just a known level a benchmark or if it's a bigger project, maybe you have a master benchmark. This is provided by the surveyor that's in charge or the council or some drawing. This is basically just a spot height which is defined. One, you know what it is. This usually or sh really should be a well-protected solid point where it's easy to measure from. But it could be that you make your own benchmark. A temporary benchmark or something your crew uses it could be a lid of a manhole just a peg in the ground a slab that you write on a good thing to remember is that there's considerable amount of work to establish them properly and accurately and that's not something we're gonna cover now but don't move them don't touch them with heavy equipment don't drive near to them don't dump things around them Please barricade or mark them properly so it's easy to see. But if you happen to disturb them, maybe an excavator touches the base or the peg gets slightly moved, it's an even bigger sin to not to mention it because now you're off maybe by 5 or 10 or 
and you don't know it and this can have very large consequences later so if you have, suspect you have moved a benchmark please mention it to your crew leader or the surveyor because that can cause a lot of trouble and that's gonna be expensive anyway I digress a benchmark is a known level we're going for establishing a height of instrument and this is a key moment an important bit one to remember you put the staff on your benchmark you get a reading you add the reading to the benchmark that's all it is this is your height of instrument reading plus benchmark and you have to have both measurements in meters this is your height of instrument and you want to write this down now this is a digital book but you would write down the date and time when you established it what datum you went off from what reading you had on the benchmark and what height of instrument now it's a checklist as well you should perform this is very easy to get confused in the beginning but very important to remember did you use meters as units in both uh, cal in the calculations no well you should have because now you have a wrong number so always remember use meters so usually your rod or measurements is in millimeters or centimeters but you have to convert that to meters because the spot height or the benchmark where the known level is that is in meters okay so we added them together and this is your height of instrument so now you have an invisible line that you can measure off from everywhere you see the laser this can be generalized to benchmark plus reading both in meters becomes the HI, the height of instrument. Here's a worked example. Say your datum is plus 55.321 and your reading is 134.9 centimeters. You'd sum them up 55.321 plus 1.349 and that's equal to 56.67 and that is your height of instrument. Use your calculator, write down your time, date, which datum you took that off from, your reading, your height of instrument. So you take 55.321 plus 1.349. This is your height of instrument as we established. And you use the M plus sign. Now when you when you want to use this number you use memory recall and you can continue doing something with this so that's a very practical tip memory plus when it's empty and memory recall and if you want to clear your memory mc memory clear okay how to actually set out something in one sense you actually don't care about the height of instrument that's just a tool to get the job done like the line on the wall what you want to do is to actually get a level so you can put your manhole in the right place or the pipe in the right place or put your cover level in your right place or so you can drop some concrete in a wet hole so you can stop sinking and keep your feet dry in the trench that's what you actually want to accomplish so remember the line you just want to measure off the line to whatever you want to mark let's go back to the apartment we have a line at two meters above sea level here. But I want uh, the sink at 0 0.95 meters above sea level. How would you go about? Well, you take the difference. Two meters minus 0 0.95, and that would be equal to 1.05 meters. And you'd measure down that and make a mark and put your sink there. And this is the same thing with a laser. You might have a height of instrument at 10 meters and you want to set out a cover level perhaps at 7 meters. There's a 3 meter height difference so you'd have to set your receiver at 3 meters and then you'd have to find spot where the laser is happy. So another example, 
if you have a height of instrument of plus 15 meters and you have a cut level to bottom of trench is plus 12 meters that would mean a three meter difference so you need to set that you receive at three meters on the staff or, or the rod and you have to find that sweet sound of the zero and then you're done setting out can be generalized to hi minus spot height that's equals your reading what you set your staff at here's a worked example you have a height of instrument of plus 98 233 and a cover level to set out plus 96.47 what is your staff going to be well you subtract 98.233 minus 96.47 this is equals to 1.763 so you'd set that on your staff you got it oh that's good for you now you're qualified to go off in the trenches no nope. okay let's have a another example a full example and we'll try to review where i lost you i'm doing my best to keep track of you so the datum level is plus 20.2 you have a reading on the datum when you set your rod up at that point at 2.11 meters what's your height of instrument well you add the datum level to the reading and that is 22.31 save this in your calculator if you have something in your memory clear that otherwise press m plus write this result up in your book Write the date, time, datum, perhaps a peg in field 4, whatever, a reading, and a HI. Okay, so now you want to set out a pipe invert. And you have a spot height, a plus height, point height, a drawing level, whatever you want to call it, at plus 18.35. So your staff reading, that will become 22.31 minus 18.35 so this will be 3.96 so you take your memory recall minus 18.35 that would be your staff reading so note once again that i'm saving my number in my calculator i do this all the time in the field so i don't have to do this in my head also i'm writing it down in my notebook this is very essential this is essential because you will make mistakes, you'll misremember something, you'll miscalculate something. And if you have written this down, this provides traceability. So you can find, have you been doing wrong all day long? What do you have to redo? Where was your mistake? And what you can learn from that. So here are some more examples that you can work out on paper before the answers pop out on the screen. I won't go through them, but here you go. Essentially we're done, but we can have another example here. What would happen if you have a spot height above height of instrument? This might be a bit complicated, you think? What are we going to do? You're used to subtracting a number off the height of instrument. Well, if you think back to the line of the wall, actually it's not that complicated. If you have a line, it doesn't matter if you need to do something above it. You have to just go the other way around. So if you have a height of instrument of 20 meters, and you have something you need to set out at 22 meters you have to set your receiver at the bottom of the staff and mark at the two meter mark on the staff does that make sense just think of the line so if we just quickly review what we learned today what does the laser actually do it establishes a horizontal plane it gives you a line to measure off from what is the height of instrument? That is the line you're going to measure off from, the horizontal plane, the level of the laser beam. What's the benchmark or datum? That is a known height or level, wherever you define it. Don't destroy them, don't move them, 
so that is a known level. How to establish a high truth instrument? You add the reading when you have the staff on the datum and you add the datum to the reading. This is high truth instrument. Datum plus reading becomes high truth instrument. Remember, always in meters. This is probably the most common mistake. And if you want to set something out from the drawing, you take height of instrument minus the drawing level or the spot height, and this will become the rod level. And once again, always in meters, you will make mistakes, but this is the most common one. Thanks for watching.